Hi, it's me again with Corel Real Tips and Tricks, and this is videos about finding hidden hairlines or hairlines. It's kind of difficult sometimes when somebody gives you a file and you don't know if you do a combo job, if it's going to cut. It's always safer if you, you know, nudge that out of the way and, and cut it last. Uh, but if you don't want to do that and you've got 50 of them to do, well, you would cut one to make sure it doesn't work. But we've got this broken apart. And you could go to Windows, Dockers, Object, Manager, and look at these layers of items. And some of them are going to say 0.267. Some of them are going to say hairline. Like there's a hairline. But a lot of these are still going to cut out because they're below a certain thickness. So that really doesn't do you any good if it doesn't say hairline. And you can't really do anything about it, even if it is. But we know we have one hairline that's marked in red, but we don't know about these blue. So the way to find them, and the best way probably, is find a replace, find object, begin a new search. We want to do outlines. We want outline properties next. We want to do width. And we're going to change it to points because this, I'm in points. We're going to have anything less than a half of an inch and hit next and finish. Find all. It found 168 cut lines. Let's move them over. Well, there's our hairlines. So everything else is safe. It's above a half of an inch. <clears throat> but Because uh, I just did a video on this particular one. These are so fine a lines that I did a vector cut on them. So I knew they were hairlines. But if you do this, it doesn't really tell you what they are until you get on individual lines. And it's 0.185. So it's anything below a half of an inch. And you can cut, you can engrave probably less than a 0.5 of a point. But you get down to 0.185. I don't know. I need to find out exactly what a hairline thickness is on the laser. Because if you draw a hairline, it just says hairline. Now, if you compare it to one of these other lines, it's a little bit thicker, a little bit thinner, but you never do know. They are going to cut. So use find and replace because I just did a deal on color mapping how to do this. Now, with this said, if you're not familiar with color mapping, you could group all this, control G, put it back. You could put your job to the top of the laser, run a raster job only. And then take this and nudge it out of the way. Nudge this completely out of the way. Then you could ungroup this. Take your hairline. Let's group this. Control G. And that's exactly where it needs to be. You could run that as a vector job at 50 power. 100 speed, just mark it real quick. And then move this out of the way and put this in and, and do your your uh, slow vector cut through the plywood or any amount of wood you're doing. You know, cut it at 100 power at 5 speed to make sure you're done. But anyway, that's how you could help you find hairlines. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.